then it rerolls as well as now that's been turned into a floor polisher. Turned into a floor polisher. This wireless turned into with an old geloso tape recorder my my brother used to have many years ago. There's a go, and there's a great big old stacks of radios and all sorts of things. Antique typewriter. Look at all these antique records. Oh! Parlophone records. Parlophone. Ooh. Vacuum cleaners and floor polishers. There's old Hoover. Trux. Lots of lots of antique vacuum cleaners about. There's an electrolux. There's an old Burko boiler, and it goes, then it goes right, there's goes, goes, and it got to no water, and it blows up, and it shut up, and shut up, go through the space, and then, and it landed on the moon, except there's a wind on the moon, what do you think of that? This is Qualcast Panther Lawnmower. It's an old lawnmower. Antique pram. It's a big, funny old wash. <coughs> That's an old sterilizing chest. Junior. Looks like a hairdryer's all these 
dresses. There's an old Hoover. seem to be taking the sting out. Oh. this afternoon. We're going to then go on to a buzzard and a vulturine fish eagle. In regards to our three owls, I want to talk about the power of the owl. So this moment in time, Jack's basically trying to put the pressure on me to say I've had enough, I want to stop. Done that a couple of times, we have to concede that that's what's going to happen. <laughs> so, for chat, it's all about dinner, as it is with all the birds this afternoon. The bits of food that I give them to encourage them to fly and not their dinner. Jack's about six. He just looks like a little fluffy baby. <laughs> they always are. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Yes. So beautiful. Yes. Got it. So Got of all it. the birds, the owl has the most forward-looking eyes. Has eyes at the front of its head. Has a very round head. There we go, going down again saying, I've had enough. So this time I just walk around with him. But most people's reactions to owls is always one of Oh, isn't it cool? <laughs> isn't it cute? <laughs> because it does remind them of a baby. When you see so the round beautiful. face and the eyes looking forward. Get a shot. Very much a, a bird that <laughs> resembles a human being in many of its ways of behaviour. <laughs> Has that ability to communicate and talk. Did you get a good photo? Yes. So you can see right now, we're just happy to just sit there, get some fed. We talked about the three powers of owl, silent flight, the hearing, on the eyesight. So we're going to start off with this bird talking about the eyesight of the bird. So first of all, I want to talk about the eyes of the bird. So these 
these eyes take up somewhere in the region of 75% of the volume of its skull. The big eyes. Compare that to a human's eyes. A human's eyes is 5% of the volume of the skull. Therefore, in terms of having the ability to gather in light, an owl can exceed a human being considerably, like a lot, 20, 30 times more able than a human being to gather in light. In fact, modern day scientists are beginning to suggest that a bird like this could actually see more detail at midnight than you could at midday, even with the sun up. So that's the power of eyesight of an owl. We can literally gather in that light and we can see in great detail even with the moon and a few stars out. So our eyes, 75% of our skull, gather in that light, enable us to very much be able to see objects in what we would regard as almost pitch black. If it was pitch black, they wouldn't be able to see. So in other words, they need to have light in order to see by. They can't just, haven't got infrared or ultraviolet.